With inventory models, one secret to success is just finding the numbers that you need to essentially deploy inside the formulas. This question is a good example of that. Let's take a look. A car rental agency uses 96 bottles, bottles, boxes of staples a year. Oh, I recognize what that is. 96 a year is capital D, annual demand. The boxes cost $4 each. Now that's an interesting piece of information. I don't really have one definitive symbol for it. I, I will note it. I mean, maybe we'll need that purchase cost four dollars each what else does it tell me it costs ten dollars to order staples oh that I do have a symbol for that is s the fixed cost associated with placing an order and it costs 80 cents to hold a to hold a box of staples in inventory for one year perfect that is by definition h the cost of holding one unit in inventory for one year so i'm definitely keeping that number but what is the question how many boxes ah how many how many is always Q should the car rental company order if it needs or excuse me should order each time it needs staples to minimize the combined ordering and holding costs so they don't need just any Q they need the EOQ 2 times D times S divided by H they need the formula for the one order size that by definition minimizes the combined ordering and holding costs oh all right so in order to finish out this particular problem what we need to do is fill out that formula okay it looks like we have everything that we need so two times let's see d is 96 times s is 10 divided by 0.8 when I did that on my calculator, I got the interior was 2400. You still need to take the square root. When you do that, it comes out a little messy, like 48.98, of which there's no such thing as 0.98 boxes of staples. So safe enough to say, and we would logically recommend that they order 49 boxes of staples every time they're going to need new staples. Why? Because that will minimize these ordering and holding costs. Why? Because it's the result of the EOQ formula and that's what the economic order quantity does. Now, the problem after that, if you look at it, is about the same car rental agency. A car rental agency uses 96 boxes of staples per year. Okay, there's the 96. The boxes cost $4 each. That's the same, right? It costs $10 to order staples. We already have that. And it costs 80 cents to hold a box of staples in inventory for one year. We already have that. Using the order size that minimizes the car rental agency's combined ordering and holding costs. So they're saying using this fact that we discovered, filling that in, right, and rounding it to a recommendation of 49, how long will a single order of staples last the agency? Ah, also known as the length of the order cycle. Oh, hmm. Now, the length of the order cycle, how long 49 boxes will last them? The fastest way to determine that is to remember Q over D. Why? Well, in this particular case, that would be 49 over the 96 boxes is the annual. That is how long a single box lasts. Comes out to like 0.51. This simple formula, though, one thing we have to remember is, is that because the D refers to a year, 
the answer refers to a year. So if you're asking this question, well, how long is 49 boxes going to last them? 0.51. 0.51 what? Years. Oh, all right. Now, that is an answer to that question, although there's sort of a hint in this question that they would rather, and it would be more intuitive, to talk about weeks because they're alerting us there are 52 weeks in the car rental agency's year. It's very easy to take a number like this that's annual and convert it to weeks or to days. In the case of weeks, you just want to take the 0.51 and multiply it by 52. That reveals that 0.51 years is 26 and a half weeks. The only thing that we're doing is essentially just translating it or adjusting it at this point. Oh, all right. So one order of staples, 49 boxes worth, will last them 26 and a half weeks. There's a kind of a like a, an irony here, both in this question which is about the order cycle, and in the question before it, which was about the economic order quantity, we never did use the purchase cost. You don't always use all information that you have available. Oh, now, if we look, the next question is about that same car rental agency, right? They use 96 boxes a year, the boxes, well maybe we'll use it this time, purchase cost $4 each, uh, ordering cost is still 10, holding cost is still 80 cents, using the, using the order size that minimizes the company's combined ordering and holding cost, so using the order size that's the result of 2 times D times S divided by H, which we did figure out with rounding was 49. What's the question? How much does the rental car agency actually spend on careful holding costs for staples each year? Holding costs. All right, now, the total cost formula that, let's see, D divided by Q times S plus Q divided by 2 times H, what I just wrote down right here is the total cost formula that the EOQ minimizes. Ah, you see, okay, yeah, they're asking about the cost, so we'll use that. Yes, but be careful. They're actually asking about the annual holding cost. And we remember that this familiar total cost formula is the combined ordering cost and holding cost. The part with the S in it is the ordering cost. The part with the H in it is the holding cost. And this particular question is only asking about that part. So if you wanted to calculate, you know, based on this policy, what they're actually paying to hold staples during the year, you'd say 49 divided by 2 times 0.8. That's what H is. Or what's that work out to be? $19.60? That is their total holding costs for the year.